just heading out to the grocery store. I have my grocery list and I'm using my Australian shopping tote bag that Amy sent me. So I already have a lot of vegetables. I'm gonna make a like stuffed tomato for me and probably like a stuffed pepper or something again for Aziz. And then tomorrow I'm gonna make some vegetable soup. So I need my cilantro that the grocery store didn't have the other day. So here we go. So I'm about to go into Dollar Tree and you guys are coming with me. another episode of cooking with Courtney today I am going to show you something I had never even thought of before this morning when I woke up I had no clue what I wanted for dinner when I looked in the refrigerator my husband did not take his lunch with him so that means he already has dinner for him what do I cook for me so I started looking up Bulgarian recipes I wanted to try something a little different something I never had before and the guy introduced me to stuffed tomatoes I don't know why I've never thought of this. I make stuffed peppers all the time. It just never occurred to me. Now there are a lot of different stuffed tomato recipes I could have gone with. There was an Italian version, an Indian version, the Bulgarian version, the Greek version, but I decided I'm just gonna stick with the Turkish version. Domates, Dolmasa. I have cooked this stuffed pepper tur Turkish dish a few different times and it always smells amazing so I decided you know what I'm gonna try it with a tomato and this time I'm actually gonna eat it so let's get cooking here in this bowl I have half a teaspoon of turmeric powder half teaspoon of steak seasoning half a teaspoon of sumac half a teaspoon of parsley and a half teaspoon of oregano this is all going to be going into the meat now I am just uh, mincing up a slice of onion because I'm only doing one tomato. Now um, obviously you want to do like a whole onion if you're doing like a full meal for a family. I'm not an onion person. I like the flavor. I don't like the like texture or the crunch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute this up with a couple bell peppers as well as some other ingredients which I will show you and then I'm going to puree it with the inside of the tomato. Everything that I am adding along with my onions, I've got six spinach leaves, half teaspoon of chili powder, half teaspoon of cumin, half teaspoon of minced garlic and I only use a little bit because this garlic is very very strong. I've got three slices of green bell pepper and two slices of jalapeno. Now jalapeno is not my choice of pepper to use right now. I would much prefer green chilies but I am all out so if you guys want to make this I suggest using green chilies because I kind of feel like this might not work but I need a little more spice.
my rice to finish cooking, I have got like a bazillion onions. And now that I've made a little room in our freezer, I'm going to cut them up and freeze them as well. As you can see, I'm using a bag. Rachel Ray uses a bowl. I use a bag. That way, whatever I don't need throws in there. Easy trash. <laughs> 